Studio Link enables us to access the primary personas in Designer and Photo as long as you own all three apps and have them installed on the same device. Here I have a history publication and I'm going to add some texture to the background of this page using the paintbrush tool from Photo. I'm going to move from the publisher persona to the photo persona by tapping the publisher logo and selecting photo from the list. Notice when I do this, the tools panel changes and we now have Affinity Photo's primary tool set. We also have access to panels from Photo, like the brushes panel. Now I can select the paintbrush tool and choose a brush from the brushes panel. I'll tap the category title basic to view the list of brush categories and drag the list up to view more. I'll look in the textures category and select the first brush. Also in the photo persona, I can create a pixel layer on the layers panel. So I'll open the layers panel and press the plus icon and select pixel layer. I want my brush to be quite large, so I'll slowly increase the size on the slider. You can see a preview of the size of the brush in the center of the screen. I'll also open the color panel and choose a light gray. Before I start painting, I'll toggle the command controller off and I'll tap in the top right corner to clear the workspace. Now I can start to lightly paint some atmosphere onto the page. If I make a mistake, I can two finger tap to undo and I can redo actions with a three finger tap. When I'm happy, I can press the top right hand button to bring the panels back. The brush is stronger than I'd like, so I'll just open the layers panel and press the three dots to access the layer options. Here I can lower the opacity to make the effect look more subtle. To exit the layer options, I'll press the panel title. I'd also like the effect to sit behind the image, so I'll hold the pixel layer and drag it down the layer stack. Another way we can use the paintbrush tool is for masking. I'll just use two fingers to pan down to the next example. For this image, I want to blend its border into the page to make it look like the shadows are creeping into the photo. I could do this with the Erase tool and a textured brush, but this is destructive. Instead, I'll create a non-destructive layer mask over the image. To do this, first I'll select the Move tool and tap on the page to update our Layers panel. Then I'll select the image layer, press the plus icon and choose Mask Layer. If I expand the layer group, we can see we now have a mask layer at the top of the group. Now I can select my paintbrush tool and go to the brushes panel. Any of the brushes here can be used for masking, but I'm going to specifically look in masking for a brush with lots of texture. I'm going to choose this textured mask brush and check the size on the slider. White will show layer content and black will hide it. As we want to remove the edges of the image, we want to make sure that black is selected. Now I can paint around the image to hide the layer content. If I remove too much, I can switch to white and paint the mask back in until I'm happy with the result. Now we can move back to the publisher persona and enable preview mode to hide the guides and see how our brushwork would look when printed. And that's it, a quick look at some of the ways to use the paintbrush tool in Affinity Publisher. Thanks for watching.